Welcome back. Meet Carol Tanzi. She's an award-winning Bay Area interior designer with 25 years experience. And before you assume she's here to tell you about things you cannot afford to do with your home, especially these days, rest assured, the woman likes trash. That's right. When creating a space, Carol does not head to some pricey designer showroom, but to Goodwill and scavenger sites, even dumpsters. In fact, she calls herself the goddess of garbage. Carol, welcome. Good to Thanks. have you I, here. I'm, I'm just loving it. Just loving it already. All right. Now, you are an interior designer, so That's you go right. into people's homes, and for a lot of money, you'll go mm -hmm. buy the high-end stuff, and you still do that. I still do that, but also the goddess is always there. She's working her way in. Now, let's also state for our audience that the goddess of gar garbage is me mm -hmm. but I talk about her in the third person I keep the identities completely separate because what are you afraid you're gonna freak out the people who want to spend a million dollars on their living room no not really I feel that doing that is a very smart sort of business okay I really do all right but now does it does it get tempting I would think it does get tempting especially the more creative you are and it seems you are I we'll do. talk about some things in a minute but tempting to bring in you know look I found this great table I found it in the dumpster but it's gonna go great in your yeah, and living I have looking done Pacific it. overlooking Pacific Heights or something and I have done that and a lot of people are in favor of that and they really like that I've only had one client an old client say something Carol can we use everything new I said certainly we can if that's your choice but what can we do with what you're going to get rid of and mm -hmm. then I found places for to donate those pieces of furniture because I think it's important that we do recycle so I got her from that end but she wanted everything new but only one out of many so I, I can't complain mm -hmm. all right recycling is certainly here to stay I oh. mean I grew up in, in, in an antique business family antique business oh. but, it was, but it was mostly let's face it a secondhand store okay oh, well. <laughs> in New Jersey but so I was used to seeing things taken from other places Correct. and using them here or shining it up or painting it or what have you Correct. using it and that kind of thing but a lot of people cannot get over I hate to say it and I don't want to sound arrogant but the ick factor of it was in somebody else's house or yes. it's got germs or you got that from a dumpster how clean is it what you do first of all before you even enter a dumpster you have to be fully dressed appropriately and that's a whole segment in the book that I've written but going beyond that you also have to have it pull it out and you have to clean it and you always have gloves on really and sometimes you have goggles on mm. and you never get in to a dumpster when it's rainy. You never, never do that. It's too slippery. It's too dangerous. You get into a dumpster? I have been known to do that. Now, let me also state that you have to check with the city that you're in because every city has different rules. And some cities, it's against the their rules to go into a dumpster and pull anything out. Mm -hmm. Before I ever even began this in a big form, I always would ask the contractor. I would ask the person I thought that owned the dumpster or was renting the dumpster or, uh, if it was all right. And I never had anybody say no. Mm -hmm. People just, oh, I'll help you pick it up. Be careful, that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. And I'm sure these days, too, oh. with people leaving homes because oh. of foreclosure or whatever, there's a lot of stuff out there Absolutely. that can be reused. Let's talk about some of the things yes. that you have. Now, this just looks like a plain old box, Carol. Well, Susan, this is really wonderful. This, uh, I got cheese and crackers in this box for a Christmas gift. And I thought to myself, now, this chocolate brown box is extremely sturdy and good looking. What can I do with it? And so I came up with the idea of this product called kitchen catch-all this is the product that stays on your countertop or stays on your kitchen table you put your utensils every day that you use your salt and pepper mm -hmm. your napkin rings with your napkins and I put it together with just things I had knobs from drawers handles from doors the nice thing about this too is that if you're cleaning the counter you can just pick everything up absolutely now let can we show them the inside without sure. tipping everything over here because you so. you lined it with it looks like uh, newspaper I lined it you with know what let's take these things out yeah, just to show go. them and you also put dividers in I mean how crafty do I have to be to do this and we'll talk thing. about this yeah. we'll talk about it. there okay. it is a little closer can we, yeah. can little we get farther that? down straight down that's there it okay so you put what did you do with uh, it? that is believe it or not an old Williamsburg cookbook and I brought that just to show you and it has these wild recipes like squirrel stew and all sorts of things. I said, well, I'm never going to make that, let alone even get in the kitchen probably to cook. Uh -huh. So I pulled it apart, keeping it intact like this, and I covered foam 
core to make the dividers. And what this is so easy, Susan. All you do is you glue it in there with white Elmer's glue, huh? Or tacky glue. Okay. You let it dry. You cover two pieces of foam uh, core. You put your inserts at the distance you want your partitions, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. And the knobs, where are the knobs from? The knobs are from a cabinet, an old cabinet. Uh huh. Okay, and we're so not going to tell you every little detail here, but let's just quickly take a little tour of yes. what's on the table here. You've got paper napkin towels, rings. Napkin rings, paper Those towel holders, or TP holders, and I made napkin rings with a, a theme of Asian. Mm. Oh, that's nice. So you got, where'd you get the Asian coins? Uh, a friend gave me. I'm going to tell you that a lot of people give me things, and now I'm very fortunate that I don't even have to search out for a lot of things because people just bring them to me. Where are the this, candle holders? Uh, yogurt play uh, uh, brand name but I like the shape I thought the shape was interesting mm -hmm. and I thought oh, this is wonderful so I turned them upside down I put spacers in them and spacers are uh, metal pieces that go into sliding doors so you can get your hand and pull that sliding door back oh, okay so you get it at the hardware store correct because right. every product that the goddess produces has a safety conscious behind it mm -hmm. you have to think it out okay Voila, you have five of those running down your table and it looks pretty nice. It does. So those of you who spent the holidays buying things now and you're, little, and, and you're still paying for them now that they're coming in on the credit card, guess what? You could have made them, right? And also, you are watching your weight because you're eating yogurt. Uh, there you go. Okay, what's the next thing? And this, of course, is coffee. This is a coffee can. I happened to see this in a very high-end catalog for around $200, $250 and thought, oh my God goodness, that's so expensive. I'm not going to buy that. But I liked it, though. Uh -huh. So how can I reproduce it? So I got the coffee can. I had a friend who was drying bamboo and from her yard, and I asked her if I had some. I did. I cut them at different heights, and you see that the product being designed here. Is this more and Elmer's glue? More em No, this is hot Hot glue. Hot glue I'm going to guess you travel with a glue gun a lot, All lady. All the time. <laughs> and this is the finished product. Okay. Uh, where are the best places to go for scavenging or for buying secondhand things in oh, San Francisco? Oh, my goodness. Goodwill is a superb one. Now, wait a minute. Goodwill is probably getting a lot more donations because people are having to leave their homes. Yes. Are, they, are they any pricier because of this or are there I'm more people looking there? I'm going to be there? honest with you that I saw a very small increase in the prices, but not a lot because I do price and shop at a lot of the Goodwill stores. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that but not enough to go oh my goodness I'm still shopping in one of the bigger department stores okay, okay? all right um, St. Vincent de Paul's Salvation Army any of your thrift stores and the curb sites oh my goodness the people that leave things on the curb Curbs. you just wouldn't believe for free that okay. are wonderful and the other thing too is if you've started the new year and decided that you're going to declutter your house before you throw things away you might take a second look and say what might I use this or turn this into perhaps, exactly huh? and you get more ideas of course on Carol Tansy's website which is goddess of garbage.com that's goddess of garbage.com there's a great Asian mirror where do you see how she did it to make it look Asian it's really clever okay and you don't have to be that crafty huh no you really don't okay Carol Tanzi I thank you for being thank here you. We're gonna